Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So one of the things that I mentioned in my last video regarding the lien and the warrant that were placed in my business that the gentleman at the tax department did not seem to find to be suspicious or a problem at all is that on the day that my warrant showed up, which was the 2nd of August 2016, you know, like one month after I went viral for Apple asking me to remove my content from YouTube. Remember that? Anyway, that's a topic for another video. This shows up, which is so many warrants, so many warrants for the exact same amount of money on that exact same time. So if you search, you'll see that we have 415 results for warrants on the exact same day as mine. And they're all for the same amount of money, $1,551.52. Now, all these warrants were issued on the same day in 2016, and what I find really interesting is that many of these warrants are for the same amount of money, and also for companies that were started at the same time. So let's say that we take a cable company, because it was one on the day right before mine. Actually, you know, I'm not even going to do a cable company. Let's just choose, I don't know, uh, let's, let's take Foods of the World Corp right here, right? Foods of the World Corp, New York County. Now, if we are to take a look, this person is going to have a warrant on them that we can confirm over here. The warrant is open for that amount of money. And if we are to do a corporation search on this particular company, you'll see that this company, I guarantee you, started in 2012. So if we just take Foods of the World Corp over here and we have it be a corporation and we hit search, you'll see this company over here. And its date of initial filing is 2012. Now, one of the things that I noticed is if I dig through this entire list, every single one of these several hundreds of businesses that have warrants on them for the exact same amount of money, weird coincidence here, literally every single one of them that I go through will have been started in 2012. So let's just choose MNR Realtors Inc. over here. We're just going to search for them. Hit search the database. Entity name, MNR Realtors. Corporation. And I wouldn't be surprised if, yeah, date of first filing, January 2012. That's when I opened my, my uh, new store under that corporation. I tried going through this list and I went through about eight of them and I realized that they all have the exact same filing date. There's a good chance that somebody in the system screwed something up in an Excel spreadsheet. And every single person that started a business at the same time that I did got screwed on the same date in 2016. So all these people that started a business in January of 2012 are all getting screwed on August 1st and 2nd of 2016. So one of the things that I'm really, I, I'm, I'm actually looking into doing is I would like to contact each of these 400 to 600 businesses and ask them all if they're still in business, do you know that you have a warrant out on you in New York State? Were you ever aware of this? Were you ever made aware of this? Were you ever informed? And with the information that New York State's record keeping system is making publicly available to me, it will actually allow me to do that because I think there's a chance that I can prove that there is a pattern of this occurring, that they didn't just do this to one person, that they did it to 400 people. Because them just doing it to me, somebody out there, some naysayer, will be able to make the argument that it was a clerical error and is no big deal, no harm, no foul. Only one person got screwed out of financing for seven years, not everybody. But I'd be really curious if I can make the argument that they did this systematically to 400 people. And if they did it to over 400 people rather than one, does that mean there's a greater chance of them being held accountable or responsible for it? Does that mean there is a greater chance or incentive structure for an attorney to take this case on contingency, where they don't ask for money up front, but they take a percentage of what you win? Because one of the things I've said is I don't have the money to have an attorney like pay $800 an hour to sue the city and the state of New York. That's just not in the cards for me. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. One thing I've been seriously considering over the past few days is selling my business and using the proceeds from selling my business to sue New York State. Like, I'm not kidding. This thought has crossed my mind. Like, I've never in 10 years thought about selling my company, but I've seriously kind of had it go through my head. Could I use the money that I make from selling my company to make sure that New York State is held accountable for this so they never do this shit to anybody ever again. 
Like, it's a thought that's actually gone through my head. I've never thought about that before, but I have thought about it in this context. And it's because this entire channel, like the past 10 years of this channel, have always been about not letting the bullies win, holding corrupt people to task. And the idea that I would just walk away from it because I don't have the funding to do it is not something that, that that's acceptable to me. It's not acceptable to me. So like, it, it, it's one of the things that's been bouncing through my head. But one of the things that I just wanted to do with this video is say thank you very much to the gentleman in my Discord, Elo, who pointed this entire process out to me because I had mentioned in one of my previous live streams that I'd really like to figure out if this happened to other people. And it wasn't 60. It was over 400 people that this happened to. And I, what I like to do is I would like to reach out to every single one of those businesses and see, hey, I'm, listen, I'm a nobody on the internet. I'm just, just feel free to ignore me. Do you know that you have a warrant out on you? Were you ever informed of it? If you weren't informed of it and this bothers you, let's have a phone conversation. Let's see where this goes. I guarantee every single one of the people on the other end of this have gotten annoying mail from the state of New York, screwing them over, bullying them, aggravating them, and would probably be happy to join me in sticking it to people who deserve to have it stuck to. So I just wanted to do this video to update you on my thought process, where I am on all of this, what I'm looking into doing. I'm not giving up at that last phone call. I'll be honest with you. I know that this is probably inappropriate. You're not supposed to say it. This dude sounds evil. Like when, when, the, when this phone call opens, this guy sounds evil. Like, as I put in the pinned comment in this video, you ever watch one of those movies where the guy is coming home from work and he's excited to go home and see his wife and somebody breaks into his wife's apartment, stabs her to death, kills her, and the guy that does it just is like walks downstairs and is like, you know, has his hands in his pocket and his head down and is looking away. And then the husband is just like walking by and he gets cold shouldered by the guy and they lock a glance for like three seconds and he's like, asshole but he doesn't really know what just happened but he feels something weird went on and then when he goes upstairs he figures out what happened and who that guy was that's how i felt the moment this guy got on the phone civil enforcement mr gonzalez speaking are you calling for personal or business taxes is something there it's a gut feeling it's a gut feeling it's not based on fact right now it is just a gut feeling that i should not let this go we're gonna dig I'm gonna contact every single one of those 400 plus businesses and I'm gonna figure out if there's a way to hold these bureaucrats accountable because they deserve to be held accountable. We're held accountable when we screw up, they should be too. And God damn it, if it costs me my effing business, I'm open to it. I'm seriously open to it. I don't wanna let the bullies win. That has never been my MO to let the bullies win. I don't want to let them win now. That's it for today. And thank you very much to everybody who left these helpful comments. I did indeed learn something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.